whole time, baby, she was the school girlfriend. I was the weekend girlfriend. Yeah. And he was seeing what's the name on the low. What's up, Barbianas? Welcome back to the party on in today's video. I'm here with another story time on how my first love cheated on me with five girls. Okay, so one day I was laying in the bed at my cousin them house with my cousin and my baby cousin. And this boy, very, very much fine and hood drug dealer looking boy, coming under my picture said, You fine, DM me. So I showed my cousin him and she was like, Oh, I know him. That's we're gonna call him RJ. That's RJ. Yeah, I seen him before. He be in what's the name? He be in what's the name? She was so she was like DM him, DM him. So I DM him. We get to texting or whatever. So this is when we had our first little link. Now mind y'all, this is the first time I linked with a boy. Okay, so we had linked and we had went to the pool or whatever. We having a cute little time at the pool, hugging in, being all up under each other at the pool or whatever, right? So I start catching feelings immediately because this is the first time I've ever even gotten a pool with a boy. This is the first time I ever even got that close in contact with a boy. And y'all know how it be when you hugged up on a boy in a pool. Y'all know when y'all get the feeling, feeling. Mm, mm. So, okay, boom. So we get to texting or whatever. And then we were texting for about, I would say a day or two and then we made an official like after a day or two like we had made it official really really quick but mind you he had a girl that was already posted on his page and he said that it was his best friend or whatever right so he has a picture posted up with this girl at his school right okay and he told me it was his best friend so i'm like not tripping over it i'm not worried about it so then that's when we make it official and we link again so after we made it official a couple days after we made it official we link again okay we this is our second link now we're booed up and this is when i had my first kiss my first kiss was with my first love yes girl and that's when all of that started but i keep going live and i'm on instagram live and his so-called best friend that he had posted on his instagram page joined my live and was in my dm saying that's not your boyfriend. RJ is not your boyfriend. He is my boyfriend. He he do not go out with you. He he is my boyfriend. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. RJ, RJ, do you know who this is? RJ, who, who is that? And then that's when he go to telling me that that's his best friend. Da 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 da. And yada yada yada. And I'm like, why is she on my live? Why is she on my live, RJ? Why is she on my live telling me? that y'all go together what's really really because i don't get it so she's just all on my live basically saying that's her boyfriend and that's her her man so this is the gag y'all he was talking he was dating me her and he was still seeing his ex i'm just kind of trying to figure out why he sitting here telling me that's his bestie when she's saying that's her dude? Okay, so boom. We forget about it or whatever. We just, you know, continue to chill with each other and enjoy our link or whatever. Like, he stayed till about 4 in the morning. We was just booed up watching movies, whatever. Just having a good time or whatever. I was, like, deeply infatuated. My mama said that I was infatuated, but in my eyes, I thought I was in love. But, girl, that wasn't real love. Like, that was play-play love. But in my eyes, back in the day... I was very infatuated. I was like 13 or whatever. I was 13 when I had my first kiss and all of that. So like, I was just really, really deeply infatuated with this boy. He was the first ever boy that I was ever with. So you know me, baby. It was giving obsession. So boom. That's when he leave or whatever. And then he said he was going to come and see me the next day. But he never did. He ended up not coming or whatever. Like we literally spent that whole night together. Like, I literally went in the shower, came out, he was still there, we were still laying with each other, we damn near took a nap together and damn near fell asleep. But he literally left at 4 in the morning. Okay, I went to my cousin's house to see him, like, that's how I was seeing him, because he was far out, and he was like 20 minutes from where I stayed, so he wasn't going to come see me at my house, because my parents strict don't even play that, but I can go to my cousin's house, and I can see whoever I want to see for however long I want to see him. So, that's when I go home, and I'm just looking through all of his pictures and all these girls because this girl steady in my dm talking about this her boyfriend this her boyfriend 
da 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 So I'm going through his, not his DMs, but I'm going through his comments or whatever. I'm going through his comments on Instagram. And I'm looking at all these old girls that was calling him bae. So I go to looking at their page and I go to DMing one of them. I'm like, is this your boyfriend? Did you used to talk to him? And she was like, she was like, yeah, I used to talk to him. Da 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 da. Now, mind you, she's telling me all this information on how she used to mess with him and how he was a hoe and how he was a thought and he was always cheating on her. She was like telling me, oh, he ain't shit. Don't be with him. Don't trust him. He is not. She, he ain't. He is an ain't nigga. He just be playing. He be cheating. He was cheating on me. He was always with another girl. I always had girls calling my phone telling me that he's cheating on me with them. So I'm like, dang, like he 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 got it like that and i'm already experiencing girls texting me saying that's they man that's they man first of all y'all if a girl ever texts you something about that's they nigga make sure that they for one make sure they tell the truth and when and once you find out that they for real leave that nigga because he fooling around with both of y'all and girl i better be the only one so plot twist on a girl basically telling me that he had all these other girlfriends while he was with her plot twist she was still trying to be with him <laughs> so the girl i texted asking did she go with him she was saying yeah i used to go with him but he ain't shit she was still trying to be with him and they was texting and seeing each other so that's when everything flips around she starts sending me screenshots of them talking to one another and how they had just seen each other and he was just with me so you're telling me he gonna see you on wednesday after he done seen me on saturday So that's what he that's what we doing now you see me and then you see her baby it was you like nine to five on the weekend make me lose my mind every weekend that's what it was giving so i went and sent him all the screenshots blah 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 and i told him i'm done i'm breaking up with you like mind y'all this we was going out for a week and i was already done because i was like you're texting other females you're linking with your ex that's disrespectful i don't like that i don't like that so as soon as we break up you know, I was still posting on his page for probably 24 hours. He ended up deleting me because we, we had pictures together. We was I was posted on his page too, just as the other girl was. So come to find out, probably a day or two after we break up, he got a new girlfriend. Stink, stink, how you get a girlfriend so fast? Stink, stink. How you get a girlfriend so fast? Stink, stink. So his girlfriend that he had got was the same girl that he said that he that was his best friend that was posted on his page y'all that was his girlfriend two days after we break up you are going with the girl you called your best friend that was posted on your page now it was me being slow i was of course i was dumb i was 13 i know that this nigga was lying you know a nigga tell you what you want to hear and you believe it because when you're young you're young and you gullible child if a nigga got another girl posted on his page and he talking about bestie you already know what's up that's also why i don't trust that best friend shit niggas be and their best friend and dating their best friend on the low so how was you dating her now that you broke up with me you gonna go public with her whole time baby she was the school girlfriend i was the weekend girlfriend yeah and he was seeing what's the name on the low yeah he was seeing his ex on the low and then five months later i come to find out that he was messing with two other girls because one of his partners i think or one of his like homies or people that know of him they knew that he was messing with two other girls and they was basically saying oh yeah man he he had five other females he was messing with da, 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 da. and i'm like straight up believed it because it was always something with him like females calling my phone texting my phone saying that they that's they nigga that a lot y'all it was really really ghetto so yes you guys he cheated on me with five girls and i do believe that there was two other girls in the picture because this boy He's a hoe. Let me tell y'all. He is a hoe. My first love is a hoe, bruh. Like, you had two girlfriends at once. And then you were seeing other females. You were seeing your ex. And I'm pretty sure you were seeing two other females. Because if you were seeing me and then you have a girlfriend at school and you seen your ex, I'm pretty sure you seen two other girls. So, it was just really, really some hoe shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my first love. My first love was, like, the first nigga I've ever been with. And just to get cheated on for like the first time it was already enough for me to handle because it's like i'm young i don't know nothing but i know when a nigga cheat 
I got to go. So yeah, you guys, that was the story. Um, there's another reason why I know this nigga is a thought because one time he, I, I ended up being this nigga side piece. And if y'all want the story to that, please let me know in the conversation below. Like I really never wanted to tell that story, but I ended up being my first love side piece before. And that's how I know that he is a literal thought because you're cheating on your girlfriend with me and that's not okay. Never was okay. But y'all, I, I had ended up turning 14 at that time. Very gullible, very dumb. Don't let a nigga cheat on you. That's the story of how my first love cheated on me with five girls. Had all of these girls, a girlfriend at school, a girlfriend on the weekend, and some other girls that he was seeing on the low. Don't trust these niggas, y'all. This is why I don't trust niggas and I have trust issues. He's not the only boy that cheated on me. Everybody else that I had went with after him cheated on me too. So it was just, it was what it was. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and give me to 2K subscribers. And make sure y'all don't go for no ho shit. Don't let no nigga cheat on you. Don't stay with no nigga if he cheat. Period. Bye bye, Rihanna's.